Welcome to the video. In this video I thought I would try to make a sketch with me video, like a chilled sketch with me where we just sketch together maybe and I can ramble about stuff while, all the while doing it. Mm. So I hope that you will take out your uh, sketchbook and your pencil and sketch with me or maybe just listen to me ramble while you do something else. <laughs> um, this video is an experiment to see how, if I can even speak while I uh, draw. So I might scrap it all, but you might also be watching it. So <laughs> here it is. I am going to be using Senshi Stock's um, sketch uh, web app. I'm gonna link it in the description below, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna use that for the poses and. The primary focus for this video is not to make great art or anything, it's to make sketches while I'm talking. So that's really what, what I'm training here. Um, so don't expect, you know, <laughs> the best art in the world. So um, these are my tools, a uh, eraser and a 2B pencil. And I can see that I need to sharpen that, so let's do that. Listen. Ooh, that sound, it's so satisfying. Well, let's get started. So, I'm gonna try to speak and, pay and draw at the same time, so it's gonna be a challenge for me. Especially until I get like warmed up a little bit. Um, I haven't warmed up, I'm just going in cold and doing these sketches. And uh, they're gonna be uh, poses, uh, you know, from the Senshi Stock sketch app. So, um, they are gonna be human poses. And, um, I'm sorry I was quiet there for a while. <laughs> I'm still getting used to this. Actually, yesterday I filmed an entire Sketch me With Me video, um, the first one I ever made, but the angle that I was uh, recording at was really bad, so I couldn't post it. So this is actually my second attempt uh, to make a Sketch With Me video. And um, yeah, I thought it went pretty well with the talking and drawing yesterday, so I think it's something that I'll be getting better at and maybe doing more um, in the future, if you guys like it. I hope that you can relax and uh, listen to me ramble and maybe watch my terrible art. <laughs> I think it's very important to show the bad parts of, you know, for example, drawing, that I want to be transparent with where I'm at in my journey because the whole point of this YouTube channel is for you to, you know, follow my journey as an artist. And right now, I'm not, I have so much to work on, but I want it to be, I want to think of it as look at how much I can learn and how wonderful it would be to learn that instead of oh no my art is so bad and as you can probably tell that's uh, a little bit difficult I think it's difficult for a lot of people who like to do art to not get bogged down with thinking that their art is uh, not as great as they want it to be um, but that's why I think it's important to kind of show how you, what, how um, how enjoyable the journey can be if you don't, you know, if you aren't so focused on on how good you are, but more focused on how you're better than you were the last time you drew, um, and and what you're learning and and stuff. I think learning is just so fun. And I love seeing myself getting better, and I love watching others getting better too. So if you do draw anything during this video, please uh, share it with me. My uh, social media links will be in the description below. I am uh, 
used to mostly using um, mechanical pencils, so I want to sharpen this a lot because I'm used to a sharp tip from the mechanical pencil. But I just wanted to bring this pencil because um, it makes a better sound on the paper. And I'm of course talking all over it, but if I get silent, at least you can listen to the scratch scratch of the of the pencil to the paper. Whoa, those legs, they are very long. <laughs> this is a common mistake for me. But as I said, I'm not going for perfect, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna correct it. I'm just gonna move on in a little bit when I think I am finished working on this one. Um, I am gonna give a face to this just because I like drawing faces. Oops. I'm quite sad that the video I made yesterday didn't make it. Um, I had some really funny moments because I drew a, a dabbing ballerina and a guy with frog legs and I I myself thought I was very funny <laughs> which I'm probably not so it's not it's probably best that you aren't going to see that <laughs> oh they're a little bit <laughs> those eyes I need to change them A little better. I'm going to do my best to uh, post the pose I'm using next to where I'm drawing so that you can maybe um, follow along. And remember that it's from Senshi Stock on DeviantArt, so go and support them if you can. They make uh, a lot of great poses for artists, and it's just great that they exist and this um, sketch app where it draws out random poses is really good um, There, that's the first pose. Okay, I'm going on to the next one, so I'm just going to be clicking a bit off screen. There, okay. <laughs> that one turned out really cute, even though the legs are too long <laughs> and the arms are too long actually too. It's really alien, alien like, alien like. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so the next one is pretty cool. I guess you'll be able to see it if I manage to put it in the video. Mm. So we have the face looking down like that, and the neck coming up like that. I'm currently considering maybe changing the way that I start drawing bodies um, by shifting from starting with the face to starting with the torso but i am not making that change yet i'm just i'm thinking about it just thinking about it because it might it might help my proportions and I don't know it's just it's the biggest biggest part of the body so um, 
maybe it's good to start with that. I'm just I'm considering it. So if you um, have any thoughts on this, which whether I should start keep starting with the head, or I should maybe try starting with the body. Let me know in the comments below. Oh, this is really hard actually. They're holding a stick, a broom stick, I think, where the broom part has been screwed off. I think. Mm. This part is a little hard for me. Eh, what am I doing? Okay, so I'm not very confident in my strokes. I love watching other artists sketch um, to see their like much more fluid lines. I really want to get better at that. But right now I'm focusing on talking to you and just drawing something that looks a little bit like the reference. Um, Oh, that was wonky. Oh well, that's my broomstick. It's not gonna get... I should use my whole arm for this, but I'm a little shy right now. I'm a little stiff and... You know, I didn't use my whole arm, I just... Didn't. <laughs> there, a hand. What is passable for a hand, anyway? And this way, she's there holding the stick is a little awkward, but I guess we're gonna go with it since it's the reference. Mm. It's a wonky stick, <laughs> but it serves its purpose. Purpose. So I hope you are all doing well during these weird times. I'm doing fine. I am writing my master's thesis, so I was sitting inside and writing anyway. So my uh, everyday life hasn't changed much. Um, and I was so lucky with the timing that I had done everything I needed to do with other people before the um, before the lockdown started. So I had all my data. So I'm just working with what I have, and um, I'm just so grateful that I'm so lucky with that. Um, so I have been very lucky with this. Um, with the timing of this. I'm not saying that I'm happy that it, it happened, but I'm just saying I'm lucky it happened now and not like two weeks earlier or something like that. But I really hope you're doing well and yeah, that you're not getting sick and you're staying inside to protect the people who really are at risk for this sickness. Um, what hair should we give this one? I'm thinking curly, curly hair. I love to draw um, squiggle hair. Yeah, let's call it that. <laughs> Where I just, and it's completely silly, but I just lo love to let my uh, 
hand loose and just do these weird marks. They don't usually look like just like this. They are a bit less stiff because, but right now because you are watching, <laughs> I'm a little nervous and I'm I'm a little more stiff than I would be normally. Now, what clothes should we give them? I'm sad that the feet didn't fit, but that's an, a problem I often have. I'm not re very good at, you know, getting my drawings to fit in on, on the page. So, an outfit. Mm, what, 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 what? Should we put them in? How about a crop top? <laughs> yeah, a crop top and like a t-shirt crop top. What should it say? It should say something, right? Like love or something stupid. Not that love is stupid. I guess love is pretty stupid. I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to say something, but I'm gonna think about it. We're gonna have a belly button and then some high waisted. Well, they're, I guess they're not that high waisted if they aren't over the belly button, but they're pretty high waisted. And we're gonna make them shorts that are ripped off. So I get to make my scribbles. Yay! And they are going to be a little There's a lot going on in that area, <laughs> sorry. And I'm not talking, I should be talking. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. That's why I have to practice, which is what I'm doing, so that's great. And I'm happy that you're watching. It really means a lot to me. When I have written my masters and I have a passing grade for it, I'm going to really try to um, um, to do this art thing, to see how far I can push it. Um, I really want to do art as a career, but I do know that it's a really hard path to take. And But I really want to give it a go. So I'm going to give it a go when I have done my master's degree. Um, let's give him some boots. Them some boots. And... I am just not good at drawing shoes, and these shoes are going to go off the page anyway. Um, so I'm just going to indicate some boots here. Wow, that, that didn't go as planned. <laughs> Let's just like that. Ta -da! And what should his, uh, their, um, what should their top say? Like stay let's let's do it um with something relevant uh, wash your hands or stay inside let's let's go with stay inside stay inside wow beautiful <laughs> so that's that one let's go on to the next one so i'm gonna be oh I'm just gonna find a, a one that I can actually do because I'm not that skilled yet. Um, here we go. We have a very dapper pose. I wonder if I can fit it in here. I'd really like to. So if we have the head here that and we 
have the torso. Turning like that. We have the arm coming out and we have the hand, the hand doing something weird right here ish. Like that, and then we can draw the arm. I always find it easier to draw the arms if I draw the hands first, because then I sort of know where they're going, and I'm not gonna have trouble placing the hand afterwards. Okay, that looks a little weird, but I'm gonna take it. <laughs> it's good enough. Um, the other hand is. And now I'm drawing the arm first, but that's because, you know, when the arm is bent in some way, yeah, I find it easier to put the hand first. But if the arm is stretched out, like it is in this case, um, then I find it easier to draw the arm first because you can, like, the middle of the arm often uh, lines up with the waist, and so you can kind of measure that out. And the hand is going to get lost in the gutter, I guess is what it's called, I think. Am I breathing very loudly? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, and then we have the leg. It's going like this. And once again, I can't fit the feet, which is great because I'm very bad at drawing feet. <laughs> I have so many things to practice. So I guess, but um, I'm going to get to it one thing at a time. Right now I'm trying to talk to you while I'm drawing. I really hope you're enjoying this little draw with me, sketch with me session. I think it's pretty fun. Um, well, I don't really have a lot to say. Uh, I'm not really normally either that much of a talker but I guess I do talk to myself a bit <laughs> especially in these times um, so it's not that different from when I'm drawing alone now I can tell that the face is like very small so let's just make that a little bit bigger and there's a chair, but I'm going to omit that. So it just looks like a magical girl pose, which is very fun. So let's give them a face. A happy face. They're looking up. Okay, that looks silly. Mm, try again. I wanted her to look at us, but... Oh, there we go. Oh, it looks a little bit creepy. Uh, I am um, challenged when it comes to smiles. <laughs> They're so hard, and the teeth always makes my drawings look like really scary um and this face is just really weird uh but i'm gonna leave it because it's kind of funny <laughs> so let's give them a mohawk i think for some reason that would fit that face i don't know why <laughs> don't sue me i have no explanation um They look like a weird band, like the cute one, the edgy one, and the even edgier one, or something like that. 
<laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should give them all instruments. But I can't draw instruments, so um, let's not do that. Okay, so what kind of clothes should we put on the last one here? Not the last one, it's just the third one. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. What should we do? What should we do? Um, because I went with the bailing suit for that one. So I'm not going to do that again. And I did the crop top and crop pants. <laughs> so, so what other kinds of clothes are there? I can't really think of any. <laughs> like There are so many to choose from. Uh, so we're going with what we're going with. Let's go with full contrast and give him a suit and tie. Just because I love drawing suits. And... Um, mm, I like to draw suits and contrast them with other things like uh, often gender, uh, def you know, gender stereotype defying things like making a businessman wear lipstick and stuff like that. I like to draw um, when I'm not drawing surreal, surreal stuff. But it's, um, I'm not very good at clothing folds either. I am probably going to make a series at some point uh, where I tackle all the stuff I find difficult, like, and we can practice them together. Like, maybe sketch sessions like this, just with a theme, like anatomy or... Um, clothing folds or and then I'll collect a bunch of references um, oh whoops the button is not there uh, clothing references uh, or references that fit the um, the theme for that time and then we can practice together because I think Practice is so important, and it's fun to do it together. I'm just gonna draw that black like there's a shoe there. Oh, I didn't give them the actual suit jacket. Oh well, now it's just a shirt. A suit shirt? What do you call that? A button-up shirt and a tie. And... I also have to practice my uh, what do you call it hatching I'm not very good at that either you can see how messy it is <laughs> so there's so much to work on and I'm eager to get to work on it Okay, let's do another one over here. So I'm just going to find a pose. Oh no, they're sitting down. <laughs> I have a hard time uh, drawing people sitting down. But I guess I have to practice it, so here we go. Or am I gonna chicken out? Ooh, I feel like chickening out. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Uh, so we have the thing they're sitting on. Mm. Here, 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 there. So they're sitting on this thing, just to have a reference. And so I'm just gonna start with the legs because that's the hardest part. Um, because there are they are somewhat foreshortened just a little bit they're crossing so uh, let 
and then a foot and then we have the other knee coming here and a foot well that was weird and a foot down here I think I uh, kind of made the foot look like it's the wrong one. No, no, it's it's good. Okay, that's not that bad. Um, <laughs> it's a little weird. Oh well, I'm just gonna leave it there. So we have a sharp intake there, and it's going out here. And sorry for talking so much about the actual drawing I should be talking about other things or what I don't know I just um, I'm just winging it um, so I hope, hope you're um, doing well and that you're not so stressed and I think I said this before so I'm just gonna leave it at that I hope you're doing well I hope you're enjoying yourself right now because I am with this um, little video, I think it's pretty fun to make, and I love watching this type of video, so, yeah. Okay, so this hand is holding a parasol, I guess it's called. So we have the thumb here, and then the pointy finger there, and other thing fingers here and then the parasol comes there there I should maybe have prepared some talking points before I started this video um, I think I might do that for next time or if you just like me to ramble then write it in the comments and I will not prepare it next time and I'll just ramble like I'm doing right now <laughs> this is very new to me mm, as I said I, I did try to make one yesterday which was uh, scrapped because of the bad angle um, the, the worst thing about the angle, I don't think I said this, but I had my tablet in, in view with the um, sketch app on it. And um, <laughs> because it was shiny, you know, it has a glass surface. My face was in the shot the whole time and it was so distracting and I laughed so hard when I realized it because it was the ugliest angle, you know, just right from underneath your or mine, my double chin. And that was just hilarious. It was really, really, I just, when I saw it, I just thought, oh no, I made a 45 minute long video and my chin was there the entire time, just jiggling. <laughs> it was so embarrassing, but um, I, I was too chicken to, um, to actually post that video also because you know, the angle on the drawing was really bad too, so you couldn't really see what I was doing. I did uh, think about posting it because it was so funny to me that my um, face was there and I didn't realize and my chin was there <laughs> jiggling. But um, yeah, I didn't because because the, um, the angle on the drawing was very bad. You couldn't really see what I was doing. And I'm you know, even though I try not to get bogged down with perfectionism, I do want a certain sort of um, quality on my channel. I try to to make good videos. This is a step down from most of my videos, but I just wondered if people would like me doing these because I really like watching them myself and I just thought it would be fun to make one and um, yeah 
so I'm making one. <laughs> okay, so this sitting pose didn't go that bad. Still, it's with a little bit weird down here. But, um, okay, we're getting to the clothes part again. What should we put them in? What should we put them in? Let's do a dress. We haven't done a dress yet. So what kind of dress? Like a strap dress, I think, because that's easy. <laughs> like that. that didn't really, that looks a little bit weird. Oh, well, let's give her a, a big belt in the middle. And then, of course, we're going to make it short so it doesn't hide all the work I just did <laughs> to, to make it look like, like she's actually sitting down and crushing her legs. And then we can get rid of that weird part. <laughs> Ta-da! There. Let's just indicate the boobies. There. Okay. Oh, shoes. We need shoes. We're going to give her sandals because it's soon spring and we're just going to go with these lumpy feet that I drew just for now. There we go. Next one. Let's see what we have here. I'm gonna skip that one. Okay, a magical girl pose. Yay! Okay. There's a lot going on here, and there is a lot of foreshortening on that arm, <laughs> so it's probably gonna end up looking really weird. But let's try it. Okay, so if we put the head here, then we have the shoulder here, and the other shoulder actually right up there, and the neck, you know, if you are have the jawline here, there, the neck is going down there, and we have the arm coming up there, and the hand is here, so one finger, okay, that looks Mm. And we have that one thingy. I'm just gonna make it a simple heart. I'm not gonna go in that much into detail. Um, so we have like, you can see the arm a little bit down here. And then it actually goes up like that. That looks very weird. But it looks weird in the photo too, so <laughs> we're gonna go with it, okay? <laughs> That's the problem. If something looks weird in the photo, it's gonna look weird in the drawing too. So sometimes you just can't win. <laughs> well, you should pick a better photo, but I like I like magical girl poses a lot, <laughs> so I was kind of sold when I saw it. And of course, the hand is gonna be out of frame. Yeah, I'm bad at making. Maybe I made the arm way too long. I think I did. So maybe the hand has a chance of being in frame. Ooh. I should start with the hand, like I said. I usually do <laughs> like and then I don't do it 
I guess that's okay. That's the hand. <laughs> um. Okay, this pose is just gonna be a disaster. Then we have. Did I make the body too long again? I think I did. There, that's better. Or is it? Let's finish the face so I can. Uh, maybe it wasn't too long. There, okay, now we're gonna go with that because I don't wanna erase any more of it. And then we have leg going there and the leg going. There. And of course, I didn't put enough room for the feet. What's new? Nothing. Do you have this trouble too, or is it just me that I that is? Am I just stupid? <laughs> I guess I'm just stupid. Okay. And let's give this one a pleated skirt. Like all the animal, animal, anime girls. So it's whoosh, swishing out. Oh no, I said pleated, didn't I? That means I have to break this up and actually do pleats. Do I want to? No, I don't want to. So let's. Just two stripes. Ta-da! Now it looks like this leg is like way off from the body. Damn it. <laughs> and uh, knee high socks. And let's put smiley faces on them. <laughs> okay. And I would make poofy sleeves. Well, I just did. So. But they're gonna get a little lost in everything. Everything up here is like a mess. No, no, Nobody knows what's going on there. <laughs> it's just... Okay. So let's... Okay, so actually in the reference they are looking down, but in my drawing they're going to be looking... The face is going to be facing a little bit more upwards. They're still going to be looking... Down with the eyes. And let's do... Watch for the hair. Okay, we haven't done long hair really. We did a ponytail in that one, but let's do like super long, flowy. Okay, that might have been too much. Oh no! This looks really weird. <laughs> um, we have some ears and some more hair. Wow, that is just made a mess of this one. Okay, 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 stop yourself. No, no, if I put more things, it's gonna be better. Oh no, no, it's ruined it. <laughs> I ruined it. No. Uh, wow. But I like the expression, at least. <laughs> okay, let's do... 
one here and one here. So like, let's do two small ones. I hope it's an easy one. Okay. So we have some space down here. The small ones are probably gonna be pretty bad because I'm. They're just gonna be some nails. Just to fill out the page. Okay, so this is really. <laughs> But and even though it's some, even though it's some, ah, uh, sorry, even though it's a thumbnail, I still didn't make room for the legs, for the feet. Sorry. Wow, this is really ugly. Let's just make some distracting here. Well, well. <laughs> Okay, I can feel like I'm starting to get a little bit fatigued from all this talking. And that's the result of that one. <laughs> Let's do just one last one just to um, fill out the page. Um, it's, it's a really cute one. So we have the face here and the shoulder here. And the back coming down like, whoops, I made them a hunchback. Does that happen to you? I often make my characters hunchbacks before I notice and fix it. Normally, I think you could probably find drawings in my gallery that have hunchbacks. We have the hand up here. And there we have the leg, it goes down like that. And goes. It's obvious that I can't fit the legs in when I make them that long. Normally, when I draw, I angle the the sketchbook up against something, so that I don't make the mistakes of making long legs because of the skewed perspective. But but because I'm filming for you guys, I am laying my sketchbook flat so you can better see what's going on. Which is why I make the legs too long, no, but it doesn't help <laughs> in in making the legs the right size. So that's pro tip. Pro tip. <laughs> Who am I? A pro? <laughs> no, I just mean it's a it's a great tip to um, to tip your sketchbook up uh, like this. Just oops, like this. Um, you know, so you can see it from a better perspective. Um, when you draw. And that makes it easier not to draw legs too long, especially. Legs and faces and noses. And look at that. I made the legs too long anyway, even though I was talking about this. <laughs> oh my goodness, I have so much to learn and I'm looking forward to learning more. But it can be frustrating and that's okay. So let's just give them a cheeky smile here, ear, hair, <laughs> uh, what should we give them for clothes? I don't know, just some pants and a shirt. There. Uh, a back pocket. Oh no, I have to draw shoes on this one because the feet are actually in frame. So I'm just gonna <laughs> do this and call it a day. So I think that's it. I'm just gonna put the date. What 
day do I have today? I think it's the 5th uh, of April. Well, I can't even put the date down right. Wow. And then my signature there. Not that I'm very proud of any of this. Well, actually, I am. I'm proud that I did all this. It's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. And yeah, it was very cozy having you to hang out with. And I hope that we can do this again. Please tell me in the comments if you like this format, because, you know, it would be nice to know if I'm talking into a void or if there are actually people out there. <laughs> so, um, yes, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you uh, enjoyed having me in the background while you drew or that you enjoyed looking at my drawings actually or that you enjoyed doing something completely different while I was just talking in the background. No matter what way you enjoyed this video, I hope you enjoyed it. And this is becoming way too long. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I hope you're doing well. And I hope you'll continue to do well until next time and beyond that. See you in the next video. Goodbye.